Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Sartus Senior First Netball Final here at St. Patrick's College in the Nanonagel Gym. And it's a pleasure to be here this morning to bring you all the action. And it's St. Patrick's College, the home team, against the visiting team from Southern Tasmania, the Southern Sardis Champions, Guildford Young College. Two great teams assembled here, plenty of experience in the State League, both at senior level, under 19 level, and also a lot of Tasmania representatives. So it's going to be a fantastic game of netball. So uh, enjoy the action. These two teams have fought out uh, the final in the last few years. Last year it was St. Patrick's College who went south and won a thrilling encounter against Guildford Young. Uh, Guildford Young won the title in 2019 and uh, St. Patrick's in 2016, 17 and 18. It's a big day of finals today. And they'll all be streamed live here on Duff TV. 11 o'clock, of course, the girls' hockey final has started. So if you're interested in that one, you can uh, have a look at that stream. And at 10 past 12, over on the soccer oval here, the uh, St. Patrick's College playing Guildford Young in the boys' soccer final. So two schools, St. Patrick's and Guildford, contesting the, the netball, the boys' soccer, and also the girls' hockey today here in Launceston. Beautiful day outside. We might just go through the two lineups, the starting lineups. St. Patrick's College, wing attack Annabelle Sanders. Goal scorer Olive Morris. Goal attack Sophie Blackberry. Wing defence Alice Jones. Centre Ava Lockwood Roden. Goal defence Georgia Brown. Goalkeeper Matilda Allen. Guildford Young College, goal defence Madeline Hay. Wing defence Ella Marsh. Goalkeeper Georgia Pike. Wing attack Olivia Reed. Goal attack Ashley Turner, centre Jessica Scott, and goal scorer Renee Eisel. The coaches today, the coach of St. Patrick's College, Jacinta Simeone, coach of Guildford Young College, Nicole Reed, and our managers today, Amy Sewell for St. Patrick's and Kylie Nelson for Guildford Young. Both teams done their warm ups, ready to go. So St. Patrick's College in the green and gold uniform. Guilford Young in the red, yellow and blue. So students coming in and uh, acting as spectators here today. So good crowd in. A lot of parents ready to go. We're underway. <laughs> Ashley Turner. Gets the first goal for Guildford Young. They lead one to zero. Good interception there. Madeline Hay is the skipper of Guildford Young. They move the ball quickly. Now with Ashley Turner. Misses this time. Off of St. Patrick's hand though. Matilda Allen and taking possession Renee Eisel. And Ashley Turner scores her second goal. Big part that was Renee Eisel on that occasion. Eisel with the ball. Good passing into Turner. Both defenders have to step aside. And the second goal goes in. For Guildford Young, they lead two to zero. So Patrick in possession. Annabelle Sanders with the ball. Captain of netball at St. Patrick's College is Annabelle Sanders. Plays with the Cavs in the State League. Sophie Blackberry with the ball. Chance now. Olive Morris, little pass, intercepted, but it's coming back to Morris. 
and she scores the first goal for St. Patrick's. It's three to one. Sharp play again by GYC. Nice interception there by Ava Lockwood Roden. So it's a turnover. Worked out the court. Sanders passes a straight. Near for Morris. And Georgia Pike's got it for GYC. To Ella Marsh. They move it up the court. It's now with Olivia Reed. It's a step inside. Nice interception there. St. Patrick's College, Georgia Brown. And they're away. Alice Jones has it. Now to Sanders. Back to Georgia Brown. 1-2 with Sanders again. Whistle on play. Contact on Sanders. And now contact on Olive Morris. Straightforward shot, makes no mistake. So St. Patrick's fighting back after being down 3-0. It's 3-2 with the centre pass. Ava Lockwood Roden. Quite find the target there. And Ella Marsh will take it for Guildford. Back to Marsh again. Renee Eisel and Marsh combine. Nice pass inside to Turner. Eisel. Olivia Reed. And Turner once again, chance for another goal for GYC. And she scores their fourth goal. <laughs> the centre pass, they move it quickly forward. And free shot here for Renee Eisel. Makes no mistake. So a couple of quick goals there for GYC. They're out to five to two. Patrick need to strike back. Sanders back to Alice Jones. It's just in year eight, Alice Jones. So a few young players in the St. Patrick's team. They're building here for the future. Great experience today against the older GYC combination. Jessica Scott, the centre player, gets to Marsh up to Eisel. Making good ground there again was Jessica Scott. Chance now here for Ashley Turner. And she gets another goal for Guildford. And score out to 6-2. to two. So after fighting back to 3-2, GYC has scored the last three. They've got the centre pass. Sharp movement again. Olivia Reed into Eisel. Long shot and beautiful shot by Renee Eisel. Margin out to five, seven to two. St. Patrick's centre pass. Nice part to pass there to Lockwood Roden. Now with Annabelle Sanders, the wing attack. Olive Morris, another opportunity, settles and scores. Much to the delight of the home crowd. Three goals now for Olive Morris. Ella Marsh takes it just inside. Ella Marsh, son of Tassie cricketer Dan Marsh. Sorry, daughter of Dan Marsh, I should say. Renee Eisel now. Puts the shot up and makes it. They're scoring at the moment. It's high percentage for GYC. Out to eight to three. Lockwood Roden. Blackberry to Morris. Right underneath, makes no mistake. So they're hanging in there in this first quarter. Five minutes remaining. Long pass over the top to Renee Eisel, who's been on fire so far, and she makes another one for GYC, nine to four. So plays opens with Karana, does Renee Eisel in the statewide league. Long pass over to Lockwood Roden. Whistle on play. Come back out to Annabelle Sanders. 
It's a pass into Morris. You couldn't take it. So Georgia Pike to Marsh. Now to Scott. They work it up nicely. Renee Eisel up the court. Scurries back to receive the pass. But uh, great defense there from Georgia Brown. Taps the ball away. GYC ball with Eisel. And great interception again, Lockwood Roden. She couldn't quite keep it in. Also some contact there, so Eisel's got it. Ashley Turner scores a goal for GYC. They move up to double figures in a 10 now to St. Patrick's 4. Sharp passing ends up again with Ashley Turner. He scores a second goal in a minute. And that's able to hit the scoreboard quickly at the moment, GYC. They're out to 11 to 4 lead. Lockwood Roden. Now to Sanders. Pass out the top to Blackbury, to Morris. They overcooked it a little. Turn over to Georgia Pike. Great pass there from Marsh. Getting it to Madeline Hay, captain of GYC. Plays with the arrows in the statewide league. There's Maddie Hay. Now she turned a longer shot this time. Makes it, despite the obstruction. 12 to 4. Scored 9 out of the last 10 of GYC. Stepping. Caused by a, called by a referee. Uh, umpires today. Uh, Katrina Richards and Monique Cooley. So thank you for their time. And uh, umpiring today's state final, GYC versus St. Patrick's. So another turnover here. Ends up with Eisel. Support from Scott inside Eisel. A nice weighted pass there to Ashley Turner, who's had a big first quarter. Makes another one for GYC. Moving up to 13 to 4. Center pass intercepted, but it's back now to Lockwood Roden. Georgia Brown to Sanders. Contact there on Alice Jones. Alice Jones, GT's netball club. Shot there from Morris. You get a second opportunity. Good work there from Olive Morris. And the fifth goal for St. Patrick's, 13 to 5. Underneath that Eisel, side on shot. And she makes this one after a bit of a bobble. 14 to 5. Georgia Brown gets it to Lockwood Road. Nice pass to Morris. Good movement here by St. Patrick's. Sophie Blackberry. Nice pick up there from Morris. This will be a long shot. And she makes it. Fantastic work there from Olive Morris. He was a star in last year's winning grand final. And that's a crucial go for the home team. 14 to 6. Turnover. Chance for two in a row here for St. Patrick's. Nice interception there from Marsh, but uh, referee doesn't think so. St. Patrick's ball. Lockwood Roden. Sanders to Morris. Another long shot attempt. And another one made. So a bit of a comeback here from St. Patrick's. Couple in a row, 14 to 7. Not long to go in the first quarter. In the last 30 seconds. Contact there on Georgia Brown. Against Ashley Turner. So good little run here. Blackberry gets it to Morris, who makes it. 13 seconds to go. The margin back to six. Last three to the St. Patrick's team. Av Guilford got a last attempt here. Marsh, long pass in. Getting a hand in there nicely. 
was Georgia Brown. And that's quarter time here in the Sada State Final. Interesting first quarter. Guildford got away a couple of times. They do lead comfortably 14 to 8 at quarter time. We'll take a short break here on Duff TV and uh, we'll come back with all the goal scorers and set the scene for the second quarter in just a moment. Welcome back to St. Patrick's College, the 2021 Sardis netball final for the uh, first girls. And the score is 14 to eight at quarter time. Seven goals each to Ashley Turner and Renee Eisel for GYC. And Olive Morris has scored all eight so far for St. Patrick's. So interesting end of the quarter, it was 14-5 there at one stage. Uh, but St. Patrick's scoring the last three, just a bit of momentum going into quarter time. And the bell sounds for the second quarter. GYC going to left of screen this time. No changes in their lineup. It's with Brown. In fact, they have made a couple of changes. That's Olivia Brown who scores the first goal of the second quarter and takes the score to 14 to 9. So Sophie Blackbury placed there by Georgia Brown. Also a couple of changes for GYC. Chelsea Thomas is coming to wing attack. And Millie McMahon is now the goal shooter. Sanders has moved to the centre for St. Patrick's. Up now to Morris. Lockwood Brown, Lockwood Roden now wing attack. It's another change. So Lockwood Roden and Sanders have changed positions. Now with Olive Morris, eight goals first quarter. Makes it. And margin is now just four points. It was uh, nine not so long ago. So SPC have scored the last uh, five goals. And that, make that six goals, 14 to 11. So real changes come over this game.
Billy McMahon. <laughs> Ashley Turner, just to steady the tide a bit, misses that one. <laughs> so a few changes from Patrick's as well. Two to Allen there, long pass forward. Chanty for Olive Morris. He makes it. Another goal for St. Patrick's. 14 to 12. Sanders, Lockwood Roden to Georgia Brown. Sorry, that's Olivia Brown. Now to Morris once again. Long shot and she's on fire. The margin now is just one goal. They have scored the last eight. It was 14 to five, now 14 to 13. Incredible turnaround in this game. The umpires have picked out an infringement. So some of those positional changes have really worked at quarter time. The coach Jacinta Simeone made multiple changes and uh, Chance now to draw level it's with Olive Morris. One handed shot doesn't make it this time. But an infringement, obstruction. So there we go. There's another goal. And scores are level. 14 apiece. So Alice Jones has come on too as a wing defence for St. Patrick's. There's a chance to hit the lead and score 10 goals in a row. Crowd is hushed and she makes it. Well, this is just incredible, the turnaround in this game. 14-5 down, now 15-14. Jessica Scott has it, the centre player. Gets it Chelsea Thomas. And now to Ashley Turner, can't make the shot. So Molly Green also on the court. So we've got a number of changes here to the, the lineup for St. Patrick's after quarter time. It's with Annabelle Sanders. He's changed wing attack to centre. Now to Morris. Tries to find Olivia Brown. It's with Olivia Brown now. And she makes the score. And they're out now to 16 to 14 with the centre pass. Annabelle Sanders to Olivia Brown. And whistle on play, but she's made the score, which will not count. Interception, tested ball. It's going the way of St. Patrick's. Crowd getting involved in this game. Be quiet in the first quarter. Pass over the top to Morris. Settles for the shot. Doesn't make it on this occasion. Nicely taken there by Georgia Pike. Gets up to Maddie Hay. Stepping against Maddie Hay. So Alice Jones gets it to Allen. Now it's with Sanders. Slight fumble there from Georgia Brown. Turnover. We're away now at Guildford Young. Turner and Millie McMahon combined. Looking for McMahon. Interception though. Beautifully done there from Molly Green. Tilda Allen. Tries to get over the top there to Alice Jones. Oh, interception there from Sanders and they're away. Sanders moving up the court with purpose. Georgia Brown gets the interception. But it's uh, going to be a St. Patrick's ball. Sanders takes it on the perimeter. 
Pass out the top to Morris. Takes it nicely. From the side, she makes the score. An incredible 12 goals in a row now to St. Patrick's. They lead 17 to 14. GYC moving out the court now to Turner. Chelsea Thomas. Looks over the top there for Turner. Guilford ball now, Jessica Scott. Gets it into Turner. And they hardly missed a shot in the first quarter, but just not finding the, the radar at the moment, the GYC girls. So, instruction there on Matilda Allen. Molly Green. It's with Morris. Long way out. It's in a Lockwood Roden. Over the top here towards Georgia Brown. Great defence though on this occasion by Madeline Hay. Sanders a pass into Morris from distance. Missed on this occasion, taken by Georgia Brown. She flicks it back in, play on. Towards Ella Marsh. Now it's got to come back. So what a frenetic second quarter this has been. GYC yet to add to their quarter time score. They led 14 to 8 at quarter time. They now trail 17 to 14. Over the top. Taken by Alice Jones. To Allen, back to Jones. Lockwood Roden, Sanders. Lockwood Roden into Georgia Brown to get some contact from behind. Little lob up here to Morris. Great defense though. She's lifting her game at the moment. Is the captain of Guildford Young. That's Maddie Hay. Nice pass from Sanders. Finds Georgia Brown underneath. Good shot from Georgia Brown. And that is another goal to St. Patrick's. Their 13th in succession. Comes into Georgia Brown for Morris. And getting a hand in there nicely was Maddie Hay. Scoops it out of play. He was out of play over the baseline anyway. Georgia Brown, nicely dragged in there by Lockwood Roden. Pass outside to Sanders, to Brown, to Morris, bread and butter this one, makes it. Margin out to five, 19 to 14. 14 goals in a row now for the St. Patrick's team. Still got time to respond though, GYC. Two minutes to half time. Great coaching with the positional changes at quarter time by St. Patrick's coach. Millie McMahon puts the shot up, front of the rim, second opportunity, and makes it. That's their first goal for the second quarter, and much needed. Now 19 to 15. Morris to Lockwood Roden, takes it in overhead. Nice take inside to Morris. Has a lot of shots from this same position, and just like a metronome, Makes another one. 20 to 15. A minute and 20 left. And we get a contact there. On the centre player for GYC, Jessica Scott. So they win the ball. Marsh gets it to Chelsea Thomas. Long pass from William McMahon back to Thomas. Inside, and a chance converted there by Ashley Turner. That's her eighth goal. So a couple in a row there, just a steady things for GYC. They trail by four. It's going to be a cracking second half. Here's a chance for Morris with the right hand. This is the one from in front. And it'll be a GYC ball into the last minute. Nearly an interception there. Nicely taken there, though, by Maddie Hay. Turner, Thomas, McMahon, tough shot, steps inside, and does it make it? St. Patrick's ball, 30 seconds left. Nice interception by Hay again to Marsh, 
McMahon over the top here towards Turner. Which way will this go? It's a GYC ball. Off Matilda Allen's hand, that one. Taken again by Millie McMahon. Left-handed shots, lovely. Makes a crucial goal. Just before half-time. Siren about the sound. There it is. Half-time. At half-time, uh, sorry, quarter-time was 14 goals to eight. And it's been a big turnaround in that second quarter. St. Patrick scored 12 goals to three. So 20 goals to 17 is the score. Great work there from uh, Olive Morris in particular for St. Patrick's. She's in the uh, under-17 state team. Plays for the Cavs. Uh, but it was really a positional changes there from Jacinta Simeone. Some positional changes, some new players on the court. And uh, that combination really combined well. Scoring 15 goals in a row there at one stage. But just a little fight back from GYC at the end of the quarter. Sees the margin at half time. St. Patrick's 20, GYC 17. Back on Duff TV in just a few moments. Welcome back to Duff TV's coverage of the Sada State Finals for 2021. It's the uh, senior first netball final. 
And uh, great second quarter there from St. Patrick's. They scored 12 goals to three. They lead 20 to 17. Goal scores at the moment for St. Patrick's. 17 to, uh, to Olive Morris. Three to Olivia Brown. Sorry, that's Georgia Brown, big your pardon. And for GYC, eight to Ashley Turner, seven to Renee Eisel, and two to Millie McMahon. So about to get underway in the third quarter. <whistles> Whistle blows, underway. Morris over to Sanders. Into Georgia Brown. And first goal there to St. Patrick's. And they 21 to 17. Chance here at the other end. And Ashley Turner, who's been a goal attack all day, scores for GYC. One goal apiece in this quarter. It's signed now to Olivia Brown. Scored three goals in that second quarter. So I think St. Patrick's gone with the same lineup that had that big second quarter. And Olive Morris is right on target once again. 19 goals now. Scores the first two for St. Patrick's for the third quarter. Sharp passing here. Ashley Turner, tough shot, makes it. So. Goal for goal here early in the third quarter. Two to Morris, two to Turner. Now she turned up to 10 goals today. St. Patrick's ball with Lockwood Roden. Into Olivia Brown. Little pass over the top there. Finds Morris. Bounces it into Olivia Brown. A few hands on that ball. But, uh, the two hands on the ball were Olivia Brown's, and she makes her fourth goal. Extends the lead once again out to four. 23 to 19. Ashley Turner. It's in a store inside to Renee Eisel. So it's Turner and Eisel. That combination that was so good in the first quarter, they're back together. And uh, already it's paying benefits. Ashley Turner, three goals in this quarter, 23 to 20. Pass over the top. Chelsea Thomas now into wing defence. Little pass over the top to Millie McMahon, who's moved into the centre. Thomas again. Long pass up to Eisel. And to Ashley Turner. Does a one-two there with Olivia Reed. And Turner makes another goal. That is four for the quarter. Margin back to two. So GYC going back to a, a, more like their lineup in the first quarter. And already it's paying dividends. Margin back to two. Strong play there, Millie McMahon. She's got the ball. Contact there on Turner. Steps in, should make another goal, and does. <laughs> Scoring beautifully is Ashley Turner. I think she scored all five goals of this quarter so far. Up to 13 for the match. Pass inside from Sanders. Not quite the understanding there with Morris on that occasion. So had a change of defence. Georgia Pikes now goal defence. And Malin Hay goalkeeper. So a wholesale change for GYC. Trying to arrest the momentum back in this game. Lockwood Roden to Sanders. Now to Morris, well up the court. Fires it into Olivia Brown. Sanders. Trying to find Morris. Can't get clear at the moment. Sanders now to Morris. A fair way out. It's the pass to the outside. Hand was in there by Chelsea Thomas. Lockwood Roden nicely to Olivia Brown. They need this one just to steady, and she misses it. Good defense there, and that's off the hand there of Georgia Pike. Wasn't happy with the call, I don't think. 
Contact on Brown, bounces it into Morris. And now Morris, easy shot for her, converts. And they needed that goal, St. Patrick's. They're out by two, 24-22. Good play here. That ends up with Turner. Tries to get to McMahon. Now it's with McMahon. Turner to the right-hand corner. Puts up the shot and misses, but it's nicely taken by Eisel. Should make this one and does. First goal for the third quarter to Renee Eisel. She scored seven in that first quarter. Taken by Lockwood Roden. Beautifully read, though, by Maddie Hay. Long pass. The other end of the court, Olivia Reed is off from the second quarter. She's back on. Eisel back out to Reed. Eisel nice with Reed and back to Eisel. Just to level up the scores, and she makes it. That's now a tied ball game in the 2021 state final. GYC in St. Patrick's. Hope you're enjoying it. Olivia Reed has been very lively in this quarter, making a big difference back on the court. Out to Millie McMahon. Eisel steps in now after the obstruction, and they're in front. After losing the lead in the second quarter, they've had a big start to this third quarter. Eight goals to four, and they're back in front. Turner, Reed, Eisel. They've really looked like they've uh, got the understanding going now in that forward area for GYC as Eisel makes another one. Extends the lead out to two. And this is a basketball game. You'd probably call a timeout now if you were St. Patrick's, but uh, can't happen. They'll somehow work their way back into it. Gilbert centre pass now. Chain of passes ends up with Turner, who's been on fire and scores another. 27-24. Ten goals to four in this quarter. What can St. Pats do? Can they answer this big challenge? Livia Brown. This is the shot. It's out of play. But uh, obstruction, so she gets another chance. Low trajectory, but very effective there from Olivia Brown. Margin back to two. Guilford centre pass. In now to Eisel. Now, moving the ball much better and much cleaner in this quarter are GYC. They're settling on a, a lineup that's really taking control of this game. Eisel, another opportunity after missing the first. Takes it back out to a three-goal lead. 28-25. Just over four minutes left in the third quarter. Morris. Olivia Brown. Tough shot, long shot. Good shot. Does well. That's pretty crucial in a tough game like this. Score those sort of goals. Team booster. Now turnover. Whistle on play. Tilda Allen now gets it. Lockwood Roden. Jones. Sanders. Morris. Olivia Brown. Tries to get to Morris. It's a great interception there by Hay. Who's uh, changed positions in defence in this quarter. Paying dividends. Get a good first half as well. Olivia Reed. Turner. Nice into Eisel, who's scoring heavily now as Renee Eisel. It's a margin out to three. Third quarter, three minutes left. Whistle on play. She's putting out referees today, Katrina Richards and Monique Cooley. And Sanders into Brown. Thinks about passing it to Morris, goes herself. And that wasn't a great shot. Taken away now by Chelsea Thomas. Maddie Hay to Pike.
Beautiful long pass up to Turner. But uh, might have been over a third there, I think. So it'll be a turnover to St. Patrick's. A trail by three. Lockwood Roden bounces it in to Olivia Brown. Gets a balance. Nice little pass to Morris, who makes the score and narrows the margin to just two. Centre pass to GYC. Olivia Reed. Eisel. McMahon. Back now to Turner. Answering goal. 30 goals now to GYC. 30 to 27. Goal for goal at the moment. Long pass from Morris looking for Sanders. Doing well there was Maddie Hay. Plays with the Arrows in the statewide league. The under-19 state team is Maddie Hay. Pass over the top there from Sanders. Knocked away by Hay. Olive Morris. Into Olivia Brown, who makes the score. St. Patrick's 28, GYC 30. Balls with Turner, flicks it back out here to McMahon. Lee McMahon works it into Eisel, longer shot than normal, but no problem. 31-28, into the last minute of this third quarter. Lock and Roden looking for an outlet. So back to Alice Jones. Alice Jones from the GT's Netball Club. It's in now to Morris. Should convert and does. So that margin just oscillating at the moment between two and three. No team really taking a stranglehold on this game. But GYC keeping St. Patrick's at arm's length. McMahon into Eisel. Hand in there from Molly, and uh, misses Eisel. Turner gives a well to keep it in. But flicks it straight back to the St. Patrick's players. Alice Jones, Lockwood Roden, Long, Olivia Brown. Great transition, still with Brown. Long shot, right on the buzzer. Basketball style, but uh, misses. So a really interesting third quarter in which Guildford Young fought back. They scored 11 goals in that quarter to St. Patrick's. Uh, beg your pardon. So in that quarter, they scored 14 goals to St. Patrick's nine to lead by two points. They led by six at quarter time, Guildford Young. St. Patrick's by three at the half. And now the margin is just two goals at half time. 31 to 29. Don't go away. We're back in just a moment for the exciting last quarter. Welcome back to St. Patrick's College. What a final quarter we've got coming up. It's uh, two goal margin at the moment. The goal scorers to three quarter time. Ashley Turner, 15. 
for Guildford Young and Renee Eyes of 14. They scored seven each in the first quarter and seven each in the third quarter. Also, Millie McMahon has two goals for St. Patrick's, 22 to Olive Morris, seven to Olivia Brown. So, GYC going back to their starting lineup. And remember, they led quarter time 14 to eight. Don't think they've made any changes, St. Patrick's. They're going with the, the lineup they've had since quarter time. So there's the whistle for the start of the last quarter. Alice Jones clicks it in now to Olivia Brown. Morris, long way out. It's back to Sanders. Into Olivia Brown. And Olivia misses that one, gets a rebound, but to over the line. So turnover first up. Pike with the ball. Up to Eisel. Taken by Turner. Into Eisel once again. And that's her 15th goal. And margin now out to three. Renee Eisel, statewide player with Karana Club, has got it again. For two in about 30 seconds, misses, but there's a whistle on play. Another opportunity, and that's a 16th goal. Handy little start there for GYC in this last quarter. Morris gets it back to Molly Green. Olivia Brown into Sanders. Turn over now to Marsh. Olivia Reed, long pass. They're looking for Turner, cut off by Sanders. And our pipe picks out an obstruction. Back to Matilda Allen. Underneath now to Morris. Needs a big last quarter and starts it beautifully. Margin back to three. 23 goals. Of those 30 for St. Patrick, scored by Olive Morris. Eisel. Waits the pass over the top. Looking there for Jessica Scott. Underneath now to Eisel. Scoring heavily in this last quarter and gets another one. 34 to 30. Lockwood Roden, coming out as Olivia Brown to Sanders, to Morris, long way out. We'll dish it out, I think. She does, looking for Lockwood Roden. Jessica Scott does well, gets a hand in, knocks it out of play. Ava Lockwood Roden from the Cavaliers Club. Morris, longer shot, spills over the back. Easy take there from Pike. Over the top, Marsh, back to Pike. Scott. Marsh, lovely long pass to Eisel, running is Turner. That was great understanding between the two forward players there. And Turner makes another basket there. For the visiting team. And for the first time in a while, the margin's out to five. With the centre pass. Eisel, underneath the Turner. This time it doesn't work out. Bit hot that pass. Matilda Allen, Alice Jones. Oh, a lovely interception there from Eisel. Contested ball. Eisel thinks about a shot, but it was always going to go to the outside. She's got it again within range. Matilda Allen has to stand aside. And another goal there to Eisel. Margin now out to a worrying six goals for St. Patrick's. Still eight minutes to go. Can they get a run on? <laughs> Olivia Brown and Lockwood Roden work together. Really need this one. And doesn't quite make it, but she gets a second opportunity. But contact Morris on her opponent there, Maddie Hay. Pike back to Hay. Contact off the ball there. 
Taken by Ella Marsh. Plays under 19s with the Crips. Statewide league team. I say it's state representation, Ella Marsh. But on that occasion, she's caught up for stepping. Little pass over the top there from Molly Green. Brown to Sanders. Morris trying to work free, but it goes back to Olivia Brown. And makes a really badly needed score there for St. Patrick's. Brings the margin back to five. Long pass. Ends up here with Reed. Wing attack. Sharp pass now ends up with Ashley Turner, who scores another one. And just feel like they've got control of the game at the moment. Just under seven minutes remaining. Olivia Brown, Sanders finds space. Morris, now she fell over there. I don't think there's any injury concern. Gets back up. Out to Lockwood Roden. Pass to Morris, who takes it nicely overhead. Underneath and makes it. Margin five, centre pass GYC. Six minutes and change to go in the last quarter of this 2021 Sardis Grand Final for netball. So Pats won last year. GYC three years before that. These two teams, great rivals as Eisel makes another one for GYC. Centre pass, St. Patrick's. Lockwood Roden. And stepping there by Lockwood Roden. Great defence there from Guildford. They had both Morris and Brown covered. Ella Marsh. Flicks it to Pike. To Turner. As uh, caught there for stepping herself. So a little arm wrestle here. Margin is six. They need to gain a goal a minute. To St. Patrick's, five and a half to go. In now to Eisel, to Turner, putting the shot up. And for the first time in a while, that margin's got out to seven. 39 to 32. So half time, it was 20 to 17 St. Patrick's Way. So a big second half here from Guildford. It's really that second quarter where they lost control of the game. Eisel again. Makes another basket. Ball has to think about it, but uh, drops down the shoot. 40 to 32. Lockwood Roden. Into Brown, to Sanders to Morris. The one two with Sanders to get a better position. And just misses that shot. Taken by Olivia Brown. And makes the shot. Much to the delight of the home crowd here. They're filling the stands, you can see in the background. Center pass, Jessica Scott. Obstruction. Come back to Olivia Reed. Eisel again had the second quarter off the court, but uh, since she's come back on, she's scored heavily. 41 33. Margin out to eight again. Stepping against St. Patrick's on that occasion, Alice Jones. Marsh. Good pass by Reed, looking back for Marsh. Great defence there from Olive Morris, but uh, it's a GYC ball. Into the corner, Eisel might have stepped on the line there. And two to Allen. Long pass to Jones. Lockwood Roden. Back to Lockwood Roden again. And the one-two with Jones. Sanders fights hard for possession. Wins the contact. Morris, the pass wasn't great. Taken by Pike. Just under three minutes to go. Margin is eight. Tough now for St. Patrick's. Contact on the goal shooter there. 
Turner, nice pass into Isaac, was just waiting underneath, makes the basket. 42 to 33. 11 to 4 in this last quarter. And as we said, GYC put their starting line up back, and it's really worked for them in this tight contest. Reed underneath now to Turner. Scored heavily all day and gets another one. Martin's starting to blow out a little. St. Patrick's would want to really fight it out in this last two minutes. That's Twith Brown. Chance here for Brown once again. She makes the basket. Margin back to nine. One minute and 40 to go. Center pass from Scott to Reed. Lovely long pass to Eisel. He'll settle for a shot. Can afford to take the risk at this stage and does it nicely. 44-34. Into Brown. Nice little pass to Morris who can't quite rein it in. So they've tightened up defensively in this last quarter, both Pike and Hay. Been fantastic. Georgia Pike from the Arrows Club with a teammate, Matty Hay, also from the Arrows Club. Great understanding. And uh, Olive Morris and Olivia Brown look dangerous in that second quarter, but they've done well, the two GYC defenders. Since then, Eisel. Now to Turner. Settles for a shot. Taken by Allen. Over the top to Sanders. Into the last minute. Molly gets in now to Brown. Lockwood Roden. The pass there looking for Olive Moss. She might go the long shot here. And uh, she falls over against her opponent. Olive Moss thinks she might have a go at this one, even though it's a long way out. No, she goes a little pass over the top. Intercepted by Pike. 15 seconds left. Probably one last scoring opportunity here for GYC. As they bring it in. Ashley Turner has been good all day. Makes another basket. 46-34. And that's just about the ball game here. There it is. All over. Congratulations. 2021 Sardis Netball Final. In the first, the winners, GYC. Congratulations, Guildford Young College. And well done to St. Patrick's as well. It was a fine game of basketball. Two teams full of talent gave it their all. But uh, in the end, just a bit more experience perhaps in that last quarter from the GYC combination. They take it out 46 to 34. We'll have the presentations in a moment. So that teams will recover a little bit. Before the presentations, goal scorers today for St. Patrick's 22 to Olive Morris, sorry, 24 to Olive Morris, uh, 10 to Olivia Brown for their 34 goals, and for GYC, 23 to Renee Eisel, 21 to Ashley Turner, and 2 to Millie McMahon. So, great effort by all involved. We'll go down to Mr. Tony Daly, Principal of St. Patrick's College. The uh,
right here to die. And as I look through the new levels, I know that we've got some um, really uh, exciting times to be. So I'd like to actually talk on the captain of the Patrick Scholars. brings us to the end of our coverage on Duff TV of the Sardis 2021 first netball final. Congratulations to Guildford Young. They uh, had a big last quarter, 15 goals to five, which in the end uh, sealed the victory for them after trailing uh, at half time and leading by just two at three quarter time. It showed a bit too much poise, a bit too much grace under pressure there in that last quarter to take away the victory. So congratulations. Uh, they've obviously won this trophy a lot in recent years. They went down last year in an absolute thriller of a contest in Hobart, but uh, they're back on top this year. And uh, I'm sure these two teams will meet again down the track somewhere. So thanks for the coverage here. Thanks to Duff TV for covering Sarda Sport. Um, thanks to Jack here, my cameraman, who's doing a great job. Uh, we'll sign off now. Just repeating the final score here. It was Guildford Young College 30-46, beg your pardon, to St. Patrick's College 34. 12-point margin. Bye for now.